Hello, I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and we're here at ostrichflash.wordpress.com. It's a site where you can grab flash code to capture motion from a webcam. So here we have a hand that's moving around, and uh, this fairy is following the motion of the hand. Uh, this is exciting technology. It's been done for a long time by, uh, well, uh, David Rokeby back in the 80s. He was the creator of Max MSP Jitter, and he was waving his hand and making instruments play based on uh, uh, motion. And Gesture Tech, a Canadian uh, company, has uh, many patents in these areas has, and been licensing the technology to places like Sony iCam. And uh, this is done with flash and a webcam. Uh, that's all. It's uh, exciting how it's done. It the, takes the difference between successive frames of the webcam and, and since flash 8 we have the difference uh, blend mode. And this was shown to us by Grant Skinner at the FITC conference, uh, oh, I don't know, about four years ago. And uh, you take that difference and wherever it's black that means there's no motion. Where it's not black there is motion and you put a rectangle around that and a cursor. It's a little bit more complex than that and I've added some schemes to uh, make this cursor go in the best possible place. Uh, but you don't need to worry about all that. You just have to get the code and use it and that's only a few lines. Now, uh, Ostrich is part of the Flash Feather series of advanced interface classes. Um, including ones that do tilt technology, multi-touch, multi-user, etc. And these are all available at flashfeathers.wordpress.com. Each of these will have a video session showing you how to uh, use it, uh, use the, the code and what to expect, um, some sample code that you can see, uh, and about us, and, and so forth. Uh, as well, there will be a download place where you can get the code. It's open source and uh, donations for those of you who use the code that would be great and also if uh, if you use it send us your your uh, URL and we can put it here all right let's see what we get in the zip file we'll get some icons a readme on how to set up the uh, the classes and it's also available in the samples and in the, the classes themselves. So then there's a, a folder here that you need to put in a certain place in your class path and that's all explained. We'll take a look at that in a second video about the code. Right now we're just going to take a look through the samples and there's the fairy one that we were looking at earlier. A simple cursor, just a single cursor that's following the webcam uh, motion cursors because you can set up multiple cursors to play something like Pong for instance and buttons like how to use uh, how to use these with buttons to um, get rollovers and rollouts and holds and blobs blobs uh, let sort of everything go loose and you've got just blobs wherever there are motion uh, those blobs disappear so it's not the same as uh, blob detection if you want blob detection where you know your fingers remain even though they're not moving uh, that's uh, dodo and dodoflash.wordpress.com alright let's open this up in flash and see what we've got here this is the fairy one uh, we can run that control enter and I'm in the back there somewhere it's hard to see me oh and I also realize as I talk it's picking up the motion of my mouth there is the fairy <laughs> now moving to my mouth here in the shadows hello there <laughs> uh, right okay the fairy then there's the simple one sample cursor FLA I'll run that uh, once again, the cursor following motion. Two cursors. Now in this case, uh, the regions for motion are only here at the right and at the left. And so uh, me talking has no effect on it. I, no effect. <laughs> Uh, so that could be used for something like a Pong game. Now you can put as many of these cursors as you want in locations and that's 
As a matter of fact, if I were, say, capturing motion on a musical scale uh, and I wanted to capture motion along a note, I would just uh, put a little cursor right in the region of the note and check for uh, motion on and motion off there. That's the fastest way. This next one here, you're about to see about the button, sample button, FLA, um, has a ball following. There's the hold. And so as I roll off here, roll over, roll out, if I roll over and hold, that was a three second hold and it's activating on a three second hold. You might try a two second hold. Um, but sometimes it's annoying to kind of try to get this cursor. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, it went away because, uh, you know, somebody moved over here. Uh, these things can be a little bit annoying. So what you can do is just put a motion cursor right in this location and that's it. And then you can sweep your hand over like that and it will pick that up and go flash, flash, flash flash, flash. So it's good at capturing, you know, even that quick type of motion. Um, you still want to give the person sort of an indication as to, you know, where it thinks motion is. So you might want to still provide a cursor. Once again, um, we're, we were in conflict of me talking and the hand. And when it does that, it, uh, it just splits in, in two. Ah. <laughs> yum, yum. All right, and the final one here, sample blobs. Ba -doop. This just is taking uh, blobs and putting it anywhere. Hello. Anywhere there's, it detects motion, that is. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. It's like being a magician conjuring up spells. <sighs> Breathing and talking. I'm Inventor Dan Zinn. Let's just take you back to uh, Ostrich Flash and uh, summarize. So Ostrich Flash, ostrichflash.wordpress.com is one of the Flash Feathers series available at flashfeathers.wordpress.com. And Ostrich Flash uh, lets you capture motion with a webcam. You can download the zip here. If you use it, uh, it would be great if you could donate and let us know that you're using it. That would be super. All the best. <laughs>